All right, good evening, watchers. I woke up with an update today. I went somewhere today, right? <laughs> I felt as if I completely waste my time going there, but you know, I had to do so then, and, and that's be, need to do so, and I'm like, that. and I thought, why the hell did I even go there in the first place? So I thought to myself, I'll do a better shopping on my way back because I ain't gonna waste my time in town and bloody. And I, you know, I was exhausted at and, and then we had troubles, issues with the road and stuff. So I had to take a bus. The bus took half an hour to get to get freaking where I live. That's good. It was like ridiculous. I thought it, should, it took about half an hour. Ridiculous. Maybe more than that. And then when I was on my way back, I had to freaking all, walk all the way down just to get the. So anyway, afterwards. So it teaches me. I bought some 4K and Blu-ray. So let's just start with the Blu-rays first. The Blu-ray. This is a film that I've heard. It was pretty good. This is a Blu-ray that I've. I was at a charity shop. Someone mentioned it. I said, "Oh, you should watch this." I watched both films. They're really good. Um. And this is a complete collection of the orphan orphan films. I was a bit surprised. The first one was two thousand and nine. This one, the second one was two thousand twenty-two. Let's read the back of the first one. After Kate, Vera from Migo, the Comedrin, and John Peter Shazgot, Shazgot, the ba the Batman, decided to adopt nine-year-old Ezra. An alarming series of events. Begin to unfold, but leading to Kate to believe that there is something wrong with Ezra. And then the second one, Orphan First Kill. Um, escape from the psychiatric facility that house. Facility that house there. Ezra hires and plays out by assuming the identity of a missing American child whose mother, Julia Styles, Dex is. is matri to one of the wealthiest families in the United States, as ever soon discovers that she's not the only one hiding the secret. So the first one comes in special release, deleted scenes, ultimate ending, mama's little devil's bad seeds and evil children, she'll interview cast and groove, and the second one comes in making off future, and that's about it right, there's nothing really. So it's 102 minutes, the first film, and the second film, now the first film is 122 minutes, and the second film's a slight bit short, 102 minutes. Region B, released by Signature. Now, really, it's pretty scary, actually. Horror of the film of the year, creepy, unsettling. So it's called um, Orphan, the complete collection. Um, I feel like I said I heard about this, and I was thinking, should I watch these films? I really, pretty good. Um, I do like a scary, creepy ass mover. I mean, the film that I really was impressed with was Smile. That was, um, wow, that was incredible. That was an incredible movie, that was um, good, that was really good. Also, I'm glad they're making a sequel to that film, really am. Um, and the, uh, So, anyway, so a film called Orphan the Complete Collection. And then I got a film with Sylvester Stallone, of course, I love, I like Sylvester Stallone. This film, on 4K, this one is so. a film called Cliffhanger on 4K. Cliffhanger's a good movie, I do like this action movie. Um, released by Studio Canal. She was on experience climb, but trusted him to rescue her. But something went wrong high above the valley floor of. And Gabby Walker, and Gabe Walker, such as said, has been blaming himself for her death ever since. Unable to deal with the tragedy, Gabe quits his job with a rocky mountain rescue view and fled from his cherished mountains. Leaving behind the self esteem, his friends, and his woman, to, the woman he, he loves. Now he must return to those dreaded peaks where he finds himself trapped in a desperate battle against ruthless criminals, unforgiving nature and himself in the cliffhanger. Seems like Dirty Dan in this. Remember Dirty Dan from East End? He was easy actually in this. So, audio commentary and director Rennie Harling, Chris Vesterstone, technical crew commentary, personal introduction from Rennie Harling, deleted scenes. Stone on the edge, the making of Cliff Cliffhanger, special effects, service four and helicopter explosion, storyboard of comparisons, trailer introduction from Betty Harley. Region B film is 103 minutes, 113 minutes. Comes in there and the blue around the fall okay, of course. So decent okay, decent match, decent, decent features. Um this is a film that I really like. I like. I still like. I watched. I got it on Blu-ray, but I thought this one. Well, this one's a classic. Yeah, this one's a good. This one's really good. Actually, I do like Cliffhanger. 
and it's good action, a good story, and a, good, and a really good film uh, music to it too. I like the music. But yeah, it's a film that I really do like. So it's called Cliffhanger on 4K. This, this was what I wasn't sure if I was going to buy this, but this is a film that kind of got not the best reviews. It's a comic book film. It's a film called Suicide Squad. The extended, it comes with the extended cut on 4K. Uh, this, is a, this is the first one they made that got... It didn't get the best reviews. It's got the best of Joker in it. It's a bit weird. It, it, I remember watching I saw the trailer and went, I quite like the joke in this. Um, but then when you watch the movie, you go, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, the film is strange. The film is really weird, especially the Joker. I mean, Jesus Christ. But uh, Margaret Robbie is really good as Harley Quinn. Will Smith is um, pretty good. Yeah, so this is a film that didn't get the best reviews, but then they did reboot it in a better set sequel. Or better reboot, really. Um, this is the original 2016 film, is it? So it's quite extended, cool. Um, let's just it. Blast open the secrets is behind the worst heroes ever. Explosive extras only available in 20. Task Force X1 team, one mission. Discover the uh, rich legacy of DC's most and famous bad guy. Squ X squad's strength and skills. You would have they whip themselves into shape. Get the stories inside. So, X Joker and Harley, the it couple of the underworld. She's rotten, she's damaged. He's, he's damaged. He's, they were match made in hell. X chasing the real. The rise of director David Hayar reveals technical of a crater and synthetic. It's the real world plus gag reel and more. I bet there's a lot of DV scenes that they never put. A lot of scenes with the Joker that they didn't actually put in this film. Now I kind of guess that because his performance is a little bit weird. You know, you know like when you watch Heath Ledger's performance, it's like, oh my god, what a great performance. It's that the complete opposite to that. Complete opposite to um, Jack Nicholson's Joker. You know, some parts, some some parts, some his promises it can be cringy. as that some of it? Was. I'm sitting there watching, him, Jesus Christ. <laughs> some there's some cringy moments in that movie with his performance, but um, maybe look, he tries something different. It does not work. The you know look looks a bit weird because it doesn't look like the Joker. He's got the green hair. And he's, you know, but I can't, he just doesn't sound or look like the Joker. It's just weird. He tries to sort of different, more hip hop, modern day Joker. It doesn't, it doesn't work though. That's the thing. That's the problem. Um, he just come back for the other film. Um, it was a Justice League. He came back for that. So yeah, anyway, so it's, so it's, it's released by Warner Brothers. Um, yeah, so anyway, it's called cool. uh, Suicide Squad. This is, uh, what was it, Dr. Byron? Uh, so yeah, it's um, Suicide Squad and 4K, the original 2016 film. And for this fifth film, it's good actually. I saw it a while back and I really liked it. I thought, wow, that was, what was it? I'm trying to think when I seen it. I saw it, I, I saw it a while back. Uh, was it last year? I saw it, I can't remember now. And I really liked it. I was, this is a really good, it, it, it's got, it's a good thriller though. It's a really, it's directed by Wes, Wes Craven now. I remember watching this one, I was like, wow, that film was really good. It stars um, Rachel McAdams, Mac Mac uh, Cillian Murphy, uh, Killian Murphy. Oh, yeah, pronounce it. A uh, film called Red Eye. This film is really good. It's one of those, one of those films that they doesn't get really mentioned much, well, no, I haven't. Anyway, so it's a film that, that I liked. I really liked it. It's one of the movies that I've never seen before until recently. And I was like, oh, that film was really good. Good story. Um, a good interesting mover, and a bit of a sense of humor too. I think that was a bit unexpected. If one of some of it was, um, but yeah, really good film. I really enjoy it. Um, so legendary director Wes Craven screen received critical acclaim for this smart, tense, and incredibly Hitchcockian sort of master was a remaster for its debut on Blu ray. Rachel McAdams. Is Lisa, a hotel manager, catching a red eye flight to Miami? Miami, yeah. A seemingly charming seatmate, Jack Jackson, soon Kenny Murphy turns out to be a terrorist agent revealing his sinister intentions just after departure. If Lisa doesn't cooperate with this evil plan, her father will be assassinated and one call to a sniper. So the Blu ray comes with a special audio copy of Patrick. Edit, uh, 
commentary with editor Patrick Rosier. Yeah, they're West Craven, I noticed on that uh, commentary because he already passed away like nine years, was it eight years ago now? Oh, uh, yes, no, hang on. Filmmaking full focus, uh, West Craven and Red Eye. New West Craven, his own words, commentary by West Craven, producer Mariana. Uh, the making of Red Eye, West Craven, a new camera thriller, Gary Rowe. Yeah, West Craven is a great director. Though. You know, I mean, Nightmare on Old Street, this, Scream. I actually didn't see the new Scream film, actually, but I read it's pretty good. Um, so, yeah, released by Paramount Pictures. But, yeah, if you ever heard, you like a good thriller, check it out. It's really good. I was not expecting to be that. I thought that would be pretty good. But I want to watch it because, damn, that looks really good. Interesting thriller. Killian Murphy is Killian Murphy is great, you know. He's just a good actor, full stop. So yeah. Red Eye and 4K. Oh, that's for me pay time. Um all from the complete collection. Never seen them before, but it, but someone says oh you should watch it, so uh Cliffhanger on 4K. Suicide Squad on 4K. And of course, finally Red Eye on 4K. Oh yeah, so I can say, if you have a chance, check it out, it's a really good film. Um, so, anyway, people are going to have a bit. Remember, Scott, to Retribution Empire and Retribution Gaming. And, um, like I said, I've, I've done a few things on there, but I've not really got a bit crazy on that channel. Um, or sometimes just take your time and hope for the best that you do get a lot of views and stuff. So, I just kind of like. I just do my videos and that's it. So anyway, I'm going to go off and off a bit. Let's go to my channel. I'm going to ask Dave. I'm going to ask me. Take a look at yourself. Enjoy my videos. And thank you for watching. And remember to go to my channel. Hit that like button. And, and let's go. And thank you for watching.